Okay guys, uh, <clears throat> continuing on from last time when uh, we installed the KS operating system. You just uh, simply, once it's installed, you need to hook up your uh, Samsung Galaxy S2, which we're going to upgrade to the ICS, okay? So we have the Samsung Galaxy S2 connected via the USB cable. This is the one uh, provided by Samsung itself. I actually tried another um, generic one which uh, didn't work. But I also had more uh, some issues with the software in, in trying to get the um, KS to recognize this um, the phone. And uh, so I did go through the uh, troubleshoot error which resulted in a fresh uh, reinstallation of some kind at the background. And then, uh, funnily enough, I uh, hooked the USB cable to one of the USB ports here, I didn't see it. Then I moved the USB port to the back of another empty slot, and that seemed to do the trick. So, here you can see I have the, the phone being recognized in the kiss, and, it's, and I have read the instructions already. It's going to do the simple upgrade and firmware upgrade in one go. So it actually mentions that uh, can you take this phone to the um, to the uh, your phone provider and apparently they don't have the tools to do this upgrade. So I am pretty sure there's a lot of people who are in need of information like this. So so once I hook the uh, USB cable to the to the phone, it came up with the list of uh, the SGH I727 that was recognized and now we're seeing this uh, pop-up screen here. So uh, I'm going to put the phone down and go through the screens as it says here. A new firmware version is available. So from what I read, this firmware version contains the um, ICS. So so it's not like you do a firmware and followed by the uh, new operating Android operating system. So let's click on update here and see what happens. Okay, so firmware upgrade will now start disconnect to all devices other than the one to be upgraded. Okay, I've read all the above information, check that. And then allow you would like to save your phone number, PC, or an IP. No, because uh, remember I did a fresh install or reset to the factory settings. So proceed with that saving. And now click on Start Upgrade. Okay, so it's saying do not disconnect the cable connected to the PC. Downloading, downloading firmware upgrade components. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but uh, if I mean it's always a good idea to see the screenshots yourself, so you're familiar with it when once you go through the process. So preparation for the firmware upgrade will proceed. So preparing firmware upgrade. So we have okay. So as you can see here we have a windows is blocked something and uh, we need it and I clicked on that on the taskbar because it was flashing and so now give it yes allow it to change computer okay. okay I think it's in the the mainstream of the firmware upgrade where the initializations have been completed and now it's doing a complete download and it's at 4% now so we just continue with this 100% actual phone is also showing some uh, activity Downloading, do not turn off target. It's 
says here do not disconnect the cable. The phone is saying do not turn off target. The uh, firmware upgrade is still happening. Still at 0%. one hundred percent okay so we should be seeing some activity on the phone itself so let's see okay the now it's saying the mobile phone a window's popped up here the mobile phone setting update is in progress please do not can disconnect the mobile phone until it restarts depending on the device environment the update may take more, one minute or longer Okay, so we're in the final stages, so the firmware upgrade with the ICS has been installed now. It has to do some configuration settings and rebuilding and then probably going to do a reboot all by itself. Okay, let's just OK that. It did say it was going to take a few minutes. Okay. The phone has, uh, is now restarting. The actual window screen on the PC is showing some kind of activity. Okay, it says here successfully completed. Restart the de this the device. Disconnect and reconnect the cable. So okay, you know, make sure you read this properly. Okay, it says here firmware upgrade completed. Restart the device. Disconnect and reconnect the cable. Okay. Okay, that's connect here. Let's see what happens. So now we have the Android device itself disconnected from the PC, and it's saying optimizing application 15 of 59. Android is upgrading. It's now Optimizing application 27 of Starting applications, upgrade contacts, upgrading media database, finishing boot. Okay, so far so good. As you can see, that pretty much looks like the uh, beginning of the ICS screen so let's swipe and to be absolutely sure we should make sure the update section is showing the icons here so to be pretty sure we need to go into settings and see what the about phone is showing now okay excellent and here you can see we have the Android 4.04 and then the baseband version i727UCLF6. So this is a change from the previous, which was 2.3.6. Okay, and so there you are, a successful ICS installation.